Today is the anniversary of my late granddad and he would have been 98 today and he was a very special and significant person in my life. And when he died when I was 25, I was devastated. And people uh, in death um, sometimes, you know, wrap it up in a, well, they were ill or they couldn't have gone on the way that they did or they had a good life. But there's also a big slice of grief where it's like, I just really miss the person. And I just... Uh, just yeah they, they've just left like a big gap in my life and one of the things that I can share with you today and I actively encourage you to find this person in your life or find it in yourself because this relationship that I'm talking about with my granddad when that specific need was no longer there because he was no longer in the world, I had to find it for myself. And one of the things that he consistently did for me, ah, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to edit it, I'm just going to chat about it. Um, one of the things that he consistently did for me was that he celebrated all of the wins every step of the way. And he was so interested in the day to day of stuff and not just the big things. And this is, this is a really, and I'm only realizing this, you know, sort of 17 years later of like, what a sweet piece of joy this was. So often, we feel like we can only celebrate when the big thing happens. Or like, I've had moments as well in my own life, that there were so many people when I was at school and things like that, that just didn't speak to me, like totally disregarded me, bullied me, were, were cruel, would say stuff. I mean, <sighs> comprehensive schools in the 90s, I have no idea if they're any better now, but they were, they were um, tough places to hang out. But yet, but yet... As soon as I got on the telly, as soon as, and I, I did this when I was about 22, I got a, an advert. And this advert was one of those that was on for like eight weeks, but it was on all the time. Like every advert break, um, and you just see it. And I was really recognizable in this. And as soon as that happened, people were like, and I remember going home for Christmas and people were like, oh, you're my, I've seen you on the telly. Like suddenly, suddenly I was worthy. Suddenly I had approval. Suddenly I was somebody worth talking to or um, suddenly I was a bit more interesting. And you remember that. You remember that feeling. I mean, this was a bloody advert on the telly. You know, it's not even like I'm... Um, a Grammy award winning singer song songwriter. This was like a very small thing. But you notice, you notice that feeling where people only come in when you get the thing, when suddenly you're worthy in their eyes. And one of the things that I noticed from my granddad was that he was always there for the big celebrations. You know, he'd be the first to like get on the phone and talk about it. And I remember doing an episode of Doctors and he went into a lot of detail about the storyline, what he thought of the character. You know, he was there for all of it. But he was also there for all of the moments up until the point, the ups and the downs and the twists and the turns and the tiny little shifts and the like, oh my goodness, I feel like I've taken one tiny step forward today. And that step might have been completely meaningless to anybody else. But he saw it and he was like, yeah, you couldn't do that yesterday. I was like, I know, I know I couldn't do it yesterday. And now I can. And I feel like I'm on my way suddenly. And now he's not here. I have to do that for myself. And I do have other people in my life who, who can support me in that way. But um, I do that for myself and I do that for my clients. And I want to say that if 
whatever your next milestone is, if it feels a long way away, if it feels like you're in the grind, you're in the hustle, you're like doing it, the thing, you're building the habit, you're picking yourself up again and again, I want you to see if you can find that joy, notice those shifts in that in this time right now, because all of those pieces of the puzzle are leading to you to having the next completed version of the puzzle. And if you work with them, if you make friends with them, if you notice them, it will feel more easeful, it will feel more enjoyable, and it will feel like it's happening quicker. And my granddad was somebody who basically made me feel that I could do anything. And it's a, it's such a privilege because I know that that doesn't happen for everybody. But uh, that is that was quite incredible as a kid because no matter what else was going on, you, yeah. So I'm going to leave it there before I have a big cry. And um, if you need that reassurance today, that sense of like you're doing it and it's hard and it's tricky, know that there will come become a time where you look back on all of this process that you've been doing and you can say to yourself, oh my God, do you remember when it was that hard? Do you remember when I tried that thing and it didn't work? Do you remember when I emailed that person or... Or, or like, I don't know, um, I'm dropping my pens all over the shop now. Um, do you remember when I got turned down 18 times and then finally one person said yes? It's all going to become part of your story. So if it feels good and if you feel like you're on the right path, um, keep going. Keep going. And lean on my faith and my trust and my confidence in you because it will happen. And there will become a moment where you turn the corner and you're like, ah, I can see the next step. I can see it. And it feels so good. Equally, if you want support, you know where I am. This is this, the deep work that I do in my monthly moves and my strategy sessions. Go to my work with me page. I would love to help you and be that person walking you through it every step of the way and reminding you that you can do it and you are amazing and it will happen. Lots of love. Bye. And happy birthday, Granddad. Happy birthday. <laughs>